Inside the Bellingham Police Department, you'll find a wall covered with some of the most decorated officers the agency has ever employed and the best friend Chief David Dahl has ever had. He was shot in the chest uh, by a person who'd committed a burglary and stole the gun. Fortunately, Zeke went on to live for more than another decade, forever solidified as part of the longest continuously running canine unit in the state of Washington. We're so proud of, of, our, of our canines. They've done some incredible things for us. Uh, they're part of our family. And a pivotal part of some of the agency's toughest investigations. Meet two of the three of the BPD's current top dogs. Good boy! There's Rudy. Rudy is three years old. And Marley. Easy. Marley, the first lab I've ever had. Rudy is learning to track. Plots. And attack. When Shan assaults me, um, he is going to automatically break and bite him. You are. God, fuck it, God. Marley detects explosives. Locate explosive odor. Go to the source of that odor and sit. Their handlers, experienced canine officer Jeremy Woodward and 26 year veteran of the canine unit and odors. master trainer Shan Hainan, let our cameras come along to record the dogs in action. Basically, there's some casings out there like uh, you've been driving down the road capping off a gun or you've been standing and shooting, so you're basically doing an investigation looking for evidence. Within minutes, Marley finds the casing Shan tossed deep in the weeds. Break. <laughs> It's just practice, but he's confident she could replicate this successful search in a real life situation. He's seen it. Had a dog that had found a frag of a bullet that had gone through a person's skull, went through a wall and into a bank, and we end up had to change the behavior in a certain area. You peel back the dirt and we found the bullet. Uh, would you found it without the dog? Probably not. <laughs> Shan doesn't just train his own dogs. He's the trainer for the entire region. He's trained so many he can't count them or the number of stitches he's gotten from bites. He insists are always his fault. I give up, I give up. Each dog needs anywhere from 200 to 400 hours of training. Rudy and Marley wrap theirs up for the day. Sit. Following in the paw prints of all the great officers who have served the Bellingham Police Department since 1968. It's a very, very strong bond. Uh, you ask any canine handler that, it's probably the strongest bond they have. In Bellingham, Joanna Small, Cairo 7 News.